And I'll tell you something, I grow them over the winter too. I just leave them near the sliding glass door and they get morning sun and that is a sufficient amount for them. And we get potatoes, man, I'll tell you. Oh, and they, say, they taste so good. Now, granted, all that time is basically just, oh, 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 where was it? Oh, wow. Wow, that could have been ugly. We almost just could have had death. We're going to have to work on getting that space laser. What is up, my pylons? It's me, Gamer, Gamer Pile, and I'm back with another episode of my first look at Planet Base. This is a pretty cool game. It is a space sim, and you have to survive as a colony, a colony planner, I guess you could say. And this is my colony. You build each habitat individually. You build the power supplies. You build the water supplies. You build wind, solar. Uh, there's probably other stuff as well, but I haven't quite gotten there yet. We're trying to we're taking a look So right now what we've done most recently is we have cabins. We have a cabin here uh, But golly last time the thing that we found out is that you can actually so previously in an episode I was able to clear out a little bit of area here This would not have fit before and then I was finally able to actually make it land uh, And looks like we're completing a trade over here. So that's good and uh, and so by clearing out or flattening out some of the some of the area, let's see, I'll see if I can show another example. Here we go, right over here. So we found that by building, we can actually expand, and make it flatter, and then we can build something bigger there. Last time we found out that we can go through this tall stuff as long as it can connect to something else. So what we ended up doing was clearing out enough of an area to place this oxygen generator and that opens up this whole plateau here. So now we're definitely not going to run out of any kind of power or any kind of space because we can build and expand ad infinitum actually and that's uh, and beyond you might say. Uh, ad infinitum to infinity and beyond. Let's see what I did there. I don't know it's probably a catchphrase or something. So, uh, what are we going to do today? <laughs> Same thing we do every day. Try to take over the world. It's a little ruddy, but it's, you know, it's what it is. Okie dokie. So, what we're going to do, we, we have built these cabins here. Let's get started on this here. Before we get started, though, if you would be so kind, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below. That helps me out a lot. Don't wait. Do it now. You, I won't, you don't even have to pause anything. I won't do anything fancy for the next few seconds while you do that uh, because that helps me out a lot. And leave a comment down below if you feel so inclined. Feel, so, feel like something I did could be better or worse or maybe you have a funny story about something I say. Well, then that's the kind of stuff I want to know, and you can tell me that down in the comments. Okay, let's go ahead and kick up the... Well, I guess we don't need to. We're still trying to... I found that the resources we need the most, uh, is the, the singular one, is this here. Metal. Um, metal comes from ore. Ore comes from these mining facilities. And uh, we have... Oh, look, that's our last resource that we're trading away. That's going to give us... What do we get from that? I guess just credits. 269 credits is not terrible. Not terrible at all. And now we have the second oxygen generator. Looks like things are going to go pretty well now, but we're probably going to take a hit on water, actually. And I didn't think of that till just now. Um, 775 during the day. We pro uh, but we produced 10. Well, we produced 10 during the day. Ah, see? Man, these darn meteors every time. Now we've lost all the power here, and this is no longer attached. Oh, it is on the grid. Okay, so it is attached. Huh, I don't know how that works. But you'd think anything daisy changed, chained past that would not actually work. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we're drawing power back in. Uh, unfortunately, it's now nighttime. Let's check out our water extractor. We got 12 at night? How is that possible? That doesn't seem right. What is this here? And we're using 5.57. No, that's we're generating 5.85 out of 7.5. So what is this? Consume the grid consumes 775 and produces 12. Well, I think well we'll check this guy out here first. But I think what we're going to end up having to do is, um, as we expand over here, we're going to have to create some more facilities. Or maybe where did that one land? Oh, over here. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here with this guy. What is our 45% is not terrible, really. I definitely don't need starches, 
because uh, I have 14 of those, but I'm... That's tricky. Could I take ores? 14. Or maybe I'll do that. Can I do that? I'll just do that. I'll give away three of my veggies. Uh, oh, look, I, I am actually up above... I, I'm up in double digits of spares for the first time in a long time. Maybe ever. That might be the actual first time right there. Okay, so I have a medium cabin. So one thing we're going to be doing is trying to... All right, so, okay, so this is what we're going to do today. Power storage is low. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, it is. Well, that's because this one got got uh, hit right at the wrong time. Uh, so, okay, so we're going to build enough robots that we have, uh, driller bots, that we can completely staff the mine without having to use humans. And then we won't lose any humans. We lost, like, three humans last time. I think it was three. Three people died because, and I think it was right in here. Maybe, no, it was this one. Everyone was working in here, and uh, and then Skadoosh, a meteor landed right on it, destroyed it. The, the whole entire habitat, uh, uh, I don't know, what you call that? Dome? Habitat dome, I guess, right? They're domes. Okay, they're they're quasi semi-domes. And, uh, and yeah, I killed them all. It's just, it was pretty awful. Uh, oh, the humanity. Uh, so we have cabins here. So that's a medium, that's a medium. And I think we should probably start putting beds in there. These beds are uh, better. They make things go. Okay, so that's four. We've got 16 people here. We've also got two beds over here. Let's build two more here as well. That'll be eight. Which is still not uh, not as many as we have. We'll have to double that. But let's start somewhere. And that'll be the where we start. I think that was it. All right. So our biologists are keeping up with all of this. Why don't we build... Why don't we build another... We can do some long-term ones that take less. So we have lots of mushrooms. So let's go ahead and do radishes, I guess. Wait, what is this here? Uh, medicinal, medicinal. That's a mushroom pad there. That's a medicinal as well. I kind of want to put the medicinal one over here. How long until that's done? Oh, it just finished. So let's recycle that. And let's put it right over here. So that we can keep all like things together. And now we'll put, uh, we'll say, two radishes here. Yep, just like that. And when these mushrooms are done, we'll build another mushroom. Actually, we could build a mushroom now. And then just wait until now, and now we'll recycle it. So we can build another medicinal one right there. Those sell for a lot better than actually than the regular... Uh, they sell for double what a vegetable or a vitro meat sell for. So that is why I want to do that. And then hopefully the biologists will be able to keep up with everything. I'm a little bit concerned about that, actually. Oh, 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 oh. Let's not do that. <laughs> I just turned off the power. I do want to do that one last mushroomy. Okay, what do we got here? 55%. That's a little high. He does have the patent for the constructor bot, though. Don't, don't I have the constructor bot patent? I thought I did. If not, we're going to have to take that right now. Uh, where is that at? All right, we gotta slow this down so I can figure it out. Um, I thought it was there, but oh, I'm turned around a little bit. It's right here. Can we build a constructor bot? No, no, we can't. So let's go ahead. I'm actually gonna buy it. 55% is not great, but it's better than it could be. I have. Uh, so here we go. We're gonna sell some of these medicinal leaves. We have eight, um, eight medical supplies. That's what they call it in this game. And so we've got 50 now. That's we need 310. We have. 270 here that will give us 10 over what we need so let's go ahead and do it all right we will trade and that's great now we can build constructor bots if i look here i can see we have we want to have one constructor one carrier three driller bots we also want to have some semiconductors on hand and okay i think that's good man i think that's good we're working on the driller bots right now. Why don't I go ahead now and also do another bot workshop. And that will be uh, for constructor for now. Oops. What was that menu? Charts. Ooh, charts. We got food. Vitro meat. Vegetables. That's vitro meat. Okay. Uh, meals. Hey, sweet. We got it. Uh, colonists have stayed the same. Uh, well, we have we've had our uh, we, we don't take colonist ships anywhere anyway. Water, 
That's water? No, that's power. No, this is, yeah, this is water. So we are going to have to do a little bit. Oh, the water's been fine. Energy. No, that's colonists. Food and colonists. Power storage. Dipped really low. That was when we had the hit from the meteor, though, so I'm not worried about that. Water. Storage. Oh, we don't have any storage? What are you talking about? No storage. That's storage right there, isn't it? Isn't that storage? Oh, I guess it's, it is. It's just way up there because, oh, yeah, that's why, because we have a huge number here. Okay, so that has been consistent, and oxygen. Our oxygen just doubled, which is great. Now we can. Uh, now we have plenty of room here, and now I can. Now I'm going to start expanding this way. So what I'm going to do is, and that's probably the closest one, right? Yeah. So, um, what I think I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a multi-purpose room right there. I'm going to move that over. So here, I'll, I'll even show you what I mean by... Um, so if I put it right... So you can see that the bottom half of that right there, that's the, that's where the hill starts. But I can actually set it here. And you can see that flatten it out completely. So now if I, if I go here and do that again, I can build it closer to the side. I, because it flattened it out. And I do want to do that. I actually want to go right up against there. Because I, I'm going to want some more space on this side so that I can build a couple of things out. Uh, so let's go ahead and build that. And that's actually how we managed to get this like nestled right in there. And what I could even do is I could reclaim all this space as well. All I have to do is... See, I want to build a canteen. I put the canteen right there. I do that. And boom. Now I recycle it, but that's still flattened out right there. So yeah, that's going to be great. I'm excited. I am kind of excited about the way that works. And then just recycle it. And see, now that's all flattened. Though that's not all flattened, but that is starting to get pretty darn flattened. Now if I can build another one right about here. And attach it this way. And then recycle it before someone comes over and builds it. We're good. And look at that. Now I have this space reclaimed. And that's what we're going to do. This factory right about there. And recycle. Do that one more time. Probably also the factory. Try to make it over on this side somewhere. Nope. I guess. So yeah, I might be. It might. This is. This only can allow one entrance in. So that's probably what the problem is. Why it's not working there. But I can do that, and that clears out a little bit more. Okay. So now I have all this nice and flat, and I could also expand in here. And I may actually, because I because I was initially going to try and come over and use this area by piloting my way through here. Um, now I don't have to do that because I've got this huge plateau over here that's going to be way easier to make stuff. Let's be honest. I saw that shadow go across. Right across my screen. But I guess I kind of thought it was... Oh, it's nighttime already. Holy cow. Uh, I thought it was... I guess I thought it was something else. Let's do... Can that be connected? Yeah, I think I'm going to do it just to be safe. Not that one, though. So, could I... Oh, you know what? Could I build another one of these out here? Somewhere? And flatten this area out, too? Doesn't look like it. Oh, no! My constructor bot is irreversibly damaged. <laughs> That'll happen. Oh, look. We didn't, we didn't reassign this. So, let's go ahead and set this to constructor bot. Oh, Sandstorm. Let's get a yellow alert going. Nice. Now, what do we have for bots here? I think it's F2. So we have... We do have three driller bots set, and we have one carrier bot. Now we'll just have to make the one constructor bot, and we'll be good. Awesome. All right, come on inside. Randall, Randall, come in, Randall, before you start getting hurt. And the driller bots. Come in, driller bots, come in. Oh, he was waiting for that driller bot to come in. Is that Randall? Yeah, that's Randall. What are you waiting for in there? Out there. Okay. I'm looking upon my works. Ye mighty. And I'm trembling. <laughs> I know something's going to go wrong. So we have a pretty self-sufficient little fort here. Let's go ahead and cancel the yellow alert. Now that that's over... I can see we have plenty of um, 
plastics now, so let's go ahead and finish. Ah, that's annoying. I got seven in there. I was hoping to get eight. If I'd gotten all eight in there, then two. I'm not going to be able to here either. If I'd gotten all eight in, then I would have had exactly the number I would have needed to bed my entire colony. But nope, not this time. Okay, so we'll do this, and then I'm actually going to make another exterior entrance. What do we got here? 60% commission. Never mind. Bed's been built. All those beds have been built. Wow, that was fast. Well, they're really pretty industrious here, and all of a sudden, I don't know why. And our storage area is at 40% capacity. Interesting. I might have to build a second storage area right about here. We'll see. We'll have to see about that. Now, this is too far apart for me to try and... Because I've, I've already done it. Um, to try and create... Or to, to flatten it out like I did with the other ones, but... That's alright. I don't know if I can fit something in there. I feel like I might, might be able to. I don't know if... I'd have to get the other one nestled right up in there in order to make that happen. But that would be cool if I could then come over here and do that. <laughs> okay. All right, well, folks, I think it's I, I think we're done with like the stage one part of this, and I think it's time to start doing the stage two. Let's I'm gonna so this is the stage two I think is going to be expansion. Um, we're gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna make an extra large canteen right over here. I'll make these ones pretty close now, just for efficiency's sake. I'm also going to make a an entrance right here. Come even off of that one. Uh, I think I want to come off of this one here. No, I don't think I do. I changed my mind. I want to put that right there. Off that oxygen one. Yeah, that's where I want that. Okay, that'll be fine. Oh, and you know what I could do? Hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just a second here. If I put that as far over here as possible, it'll flatten a little bit more out over there. Haha! -ha. Mm -hmm. Look at me thinking. I like having as many exits as possible, I'll be honest. Because it will make it easier when there's a sandstorm for people to come back in. Hint guard. What's this? Oh, that was really close. Guards are responsible for maintaining security. They can fight intruders. Ideally, they will be armed so they can do this more efficiently. Operate the security console to detect intruders before they do too much damage. Guards come to the base unarmed. Fighting armed attackers without weapons is very close to suicide, so it's a good idea to get your guards some weapons. You need to do this with guns in an armor shop or buy them. Okay. Can't I, I can't make that in here. Arms workshop. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to start building these now. The game is pretty much telling us that we need to do this. So there's a security console. There's my armory. I'm going to have to probably build another command center over on this side, too. So we've got a large canteen here. That's going to help us to expand our colony. I'm also going to build a few more rooms over here. I love how the nearby rooms drop oxygen when they're filling up the, the new oxygen. Okay, so up here we have one gun. Oh, but I'm actually going to have two selected here. You are 60% commissioned, so I'm just going to dismiss you. And now... Let's stock the canteen and do two of these. And we need a lot of these. Oh, I can't build those there? That's too bad. Those will be those ones. And then we'll have these guys just like this. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the symmetry. The symmetry is beautiful. It's perfect. And then we're also going to need a few televisions for watching. <laughs> oh, darn it. I overlapped it. Right there. Oh, look at that. It's going to be it's going to be uh this great wrap around three tele three screen. This is fantastic. Look at the way that looks. That's that's so cool. All right. And I can't build anything this way anyway, so I know that I can place those there cuz it's not going to be destroyed by uh creating more um more stuff more rooms and such. I know that we're going to put a cabin in. We're going to put a bar in to extend the uh, extend this here. Which direction do I want to go? I guess we'll go this way. Yeah, we'll go right there. 
All right, so now I definitely... <laughs> Definitely going to have a uh, almost an entirely separate colony over here. So this is like the old base. Out with the old, in with the new. Let's build some stuff. We have received another biologist. Just the one. That's interesting. So I open up the, the colonist ships here. And Tracy Chang has joined us. I open up for a colonist ship. Ooh, got to set that to yellow alert. And I set 50%, 5-0% to biologists, but I was expecting at least one guard. That one biologist should be sufficient for me now, though, so I guess what I should be actually doing is this here. Let's get you all up to 100, and then I could use this, maybe one more engineer, and one more medic. So let's try that and see what happens next. Okay, so there's a an alert here. This has been these have been built, so we're almost done here. We're getting things pretty close. I I found that there is no. Let's see where were we over here? There's only the one water fountain over here, so I'm gonna build one more, I think, just because I can. And we'll put it right there next to the table. All right, perfect. And now, now, we might want to. So we have security. We might want to do a radio console, a telescope console. Do one of them. We'll put you there. Can I put all three? Oh, look at that! I can do all three. And let's let's drop the yellow alert. And there we go. All right, we sold. We were able to sell some of our. Uh, we we're, we're really stockpiling up these basic goods here. And yeah, it's much better now. Let's see what we got. Forty percent commission. That's not bad. Let's try and get some more. I'm gonna try. I'm trying to get rid of some of these stocks that I have. So I have so many of them. So maybe I can trade them into coin, and that'll make things a little bit better for me. Ah, always, always that one last one. All right. So now they'll move those things over. And before I was having, as you can see, there's a lot of red in here. So I needed that one biologist, just especially just the same. Uh, now we have these, and we should be able to build one of those soon. That, oh, look, we are actually making our first gun. So that's good. And that should be stored in the armory. If we could get a worker over here, that'd be swell. Telescope console's been built. That's good. We don't have a telescope yet, but it's good to have a console. We're ready to expand when we're ready to expand. And now we have the radio console as well. And last resource being loaded in right now. That's going to give us some coins. We're back up to 185 credits. So that's great. Perfect. Now we have only one more of these to build, to bring over. Who's that? Is that Gabriel? Oh, it's Gabriel. I was hoping it was Randall or FL because they are engineers and they could have just sat there and engineered it, built it. Maybe next time. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's no big deal. Oh, 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 oh. Calling a ship. What did we get? Landed weird. We got. We have a medic, Corinna Valenzuela. Corinna Valenzuela. That's a really pretty name. I like that. Val Valenzuela. It's almost Venezuela. There's just one extra letter in there, and that's it. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So let's go ahead and adjust this now and make it like 100% guard. So we have two medics now, which is great. Uh, let's go ahead and look here. We don't have any... They haven't built any of the constructor bots yet. That's odd. I don't know why. And we don't have any guards. But we do have two medics. So now we should be turning some of those into medicine. A little bit more frequently than we've been doing. Oh, right. I always forget that they need not just the medicinal leaves. But they also need a bioplastic. And I, I never run... I never have bioplastics. I've always run out of bioplastics. So that's why. Ooh, who do we have? We have two guards that just came in. Two guards. All right, who are our guards? Well, that one looks a whole a whole lot like Cara Dune. All right, well, can I change her name? River Wells. River Wells. River... Oh, what was the name of River's last name? River Song. All right. Can I change her name? I want to change her name. I don't think I can change her name. I would totally change her name to Cara Dune. And who's that? Lena Ballard. All right, so now we actually have to turn off Colonist here. So we don't get any more. And great. Now we have... We have all the people we need. So we've got a couple of guards here, and that's great. One thing I do plan on doing over here is creating another command center. And this will 
probably end up being our main command center. Uh, we do have a bar, though, so let's go ahead and get this started. We're going to get three drinks located here, and we're going to put in some tables. And we're going to put in another screen or two. What was that sound? Is that a ship landing? Oh, it was. Hey, look at that. Trading ship. I thought that might have been the wind turbine. But... Okay, so hit it again. 50%. Get out of here. We don't need your kind. Although, while we're waiting, let's do this. What do I want the most? I guess I don't really want anything right now. I don't need anything right now. So we'll just hold off. We'll just hold off. We'll wait. All right. So over here. So here's where we're going to have... Uh, there were a couple of things I did as well. I didn't... I took out the water fountains from here. And one of the TVs. Oops. So let's put them back in. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do four. Oh, that's going to look awesome. That's going to even look better than three. Oh, that's going to look even better than three. Fantastic. <laughs> and let's go ahead and do this. Now, it looks like we're actually going to need another mine. So I'm going to create another mine right over here. And now, I also want to see if we can't build some cool other fun stuff over here as well. Um, what are some of the other things we could build? So we've got a landing pad. We've got a starport, advanced facility, landing facility, large colonist, trading, and visitor ships can land here. Whoa. Okay, a radio antenna. Way to contact vessels traveling near your planet. Okay, a telescope to aim an anti-meteor laser. There's no risk of thunderstorms for whatever that is. A signpost, displaying a, a display panel showing information about the colony. Where can I put that? Oh, you can make it really big too. <laughs> um. I could put it right there. I don't know. I put that right there. I, I'm kind of wondering where I could throw this thing. I kind of want to just put it somewhere. Put it right there. <laughs> oh, boy. This is crazy. Okay. What if we do it just over here somewhere? No, I don't want to put it over there either. Is there anywhere here I could put it? Oh, it would have been so nice to be able to put it right there. So that, I, you know, they see it as they're landing. No, no. There's nowhere to put it. There's no room over here, Captain. Oh. <gasps> Right there. I wonder if I build the small one, if I can then build a big one. What? Hold on, hold on. Come on, do it. Do it. No. <laughs> I was so close. All right. Well, one it is then. One it is. We'll, can, we'll hook that up to that. <laughs> and I guess we'll hook it up to that too. <laughs> All right. So we got a little small signpost. That must be what helps your, let's see. What, what one is that? Maybe there's F2. Yeah, so right now our, our karma, or whatever they call us, our, our welfare is good, but our prestige is really low. I wonder if adding a signpost would make it better. We're at 4X. Let's go ahead and build that puppy. What are you doing? Going to fix something? What are you going to fix that for? You don't need to fix that yet. Seriously. All right, and it looks like that needs to be done. Okay, so that means we're going to actually need more robots then, huh? Driller bots. Oh, no, we can't just do... We gotta go uh, skip from five to ten. I can't make six a thing. That's frustrating. Wish I had a little bit more control over that. These, yeah, these and these guards. What are they even gonna do? They're not even gonna do anything. There's nothing to do. All right. Well, we've run out of spares. We are trying to expand too quickly. As you can see over here, we're really working on our so the other half of the base over here, the one that we're gonna put in this big plateau. And as you can tell, uh, we've gone too much, too far, too fast. I did put this other airlock over here, which is good. Um, but we are now out of spares, and we ran out of spares because we didn't have any metal to build them. So now we have to stockpile our metal a little bit. I'm going to have to make another. So and actually, it's going to be kind of nice over here. I have all this room. I can actually design it the way I want to. I'm going to make another whole hexagonal complex over here with a large storage area in the middle like this and then all of the other ones piping off from that all the factories and such i think that's going to be really good i think it's going to be helpful i hope that i hope it works <laughs> let's put it that way i hope it works <laughs> but in order to do that we've got to make some more spares so there we go all right who's this gaston gaston my man is unhappy but he's like look spares are more important than my happiness that's what gaston is saying and uh gaston Bobach. 
probably how he pronounces it. You know, you know how it is <laughs> when you when you got a name, you want to have a name. You have to pronounce it the way your name's supposed to be pronounced. It. All right, we got all these spares out here, or out here, but nobody's bringing them in. I think I have carrier bots that I should be building. But let's get these spares up back over into double digits again, and then uh, then we'll go from there. Okay, who we got? Oh, so we dropped off. We did get a few more workers, by the way. We had two more workers that arrived. And we've traded a few times. We also built our sign. Look at our sign. It says, welcome to need more pylons. Welcome to need more pylons. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at that. Good old planet base right there. All right, what do we got here? 45% commissions, not bad. Oh, I might buy those spares. That might be a good idea. Let's sell all of those. <laughs> I'm going to sell as much as I can fit in this darn thing. There you go. 190. How much? How many coins? You don't even have enough credits for that. Darn it. Uh, carrier bot is 80. I guess not. 121 is what we got them up to. Yeah, eventually I'm going to have to start trading for all these mega-sized modules and domes. But this isn't the time. Uh, what would we rather keep then, I guess? I guess we'll keep these lower value things, right? 164. Okay. I'll take one credit back. Okay, I guess that'll work. That's not ideal, but that'll be that's better than it was going to be, and we're gonna have a few more credits from it. So I would love to I'm saving up for six hundred credits so that I have a decent chance of getting a some kind of Oh, and already. Wow, that didn't take very long. They just built two. There's the Sparrow's workshop is all workshoppy over here, just nobody's building. Ain't nobody got building time over here right now. We did finish our other because this is gonna snake around. I'm gonna have the the main complex go this way. And then this over, part over here. Oh, as far as I can build. Oh, look at that. There is an end. Oh, I don't mean to do that. Oops. <laughs> Yellow alert. False alarm. False alarm. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be where all of my uh, utilities are. And that'll be good. That'll be good. Okay. Back to work, people. Back to work. What do we have left here? We still have five more resources to bring over there. Oh, they're all waiting at the airlock. It's too bad we don't have, like, I don't know, the ability to use have more than one person use an airlock at a time. You know, maybe two people get into their spacesuit simultaneously when both of them are done. I think they could even check each other. That's probably the safest thing to have somebody else check you. All right, so we have two more resource, two more spares over here. That's good. And Florida is over here making the other ones. Oh, he left. Oh, but they have them in there. Hey, now we have four. Look at that. Just like that, we have four. I would like to have a larger processing plant. I'm wondering about the feasibility of of having that changed. And ultimately, I do want it over there. Okay, so we have those spares. I want one more. I want a couple more carrier bots, I guess. How many carrier bots am I, do, do they have built? Just the one for now. What if we had three and two constructor bots? What if we did that? That would free up our engineers, too, which would be nice. But it looks like in order to do that, I'm going to have to build one more... Nope. One more um, bot workshop. Okay, now they're going to start coming over here. Hopefully starting to build this stuff. Oh, because that takes... Um, that takes semiconductors. Semiconductors, in order to make a semiconductor, you need... Oh, no, you don't need... You, semiconductors just like spares. They, they take the same amount of resources. Huh. They only kick out one semiconductor, though, unlike spares, kicks out two. So that's a difference, but... Another trading ship. Oh, what else could we sell? 65%. Nah, get out of here, bro. <laughs> Charge me 65% commission. I'm just going to kick you out and make you waste all of that fuel entering and exiting the atmosphere. That's what I'm going to do. Although, you know, it would be a, a, an interesting technology. As you enter an atmosphere, it captures energy somehow. I don't know what heat, maybe... From the friction who knows maybe something to do with gravity or uh, you're en entering a magnetosphere most likely so maybe something with copper wire around I don't know somehow we get energy ah. oh where was that okay right there okay we're good do we have a simultaneous one because there was there was, there was there was chunks of it over here and they look like they were bouncing toward it and there's the uh, asteroid the meteor I guess they call it but meteorite now that it's landed Anyway, yeah, that'd be kind of neat. And then, you know, just save a little bit of fuel as you have to land and debark. 
a planet. <laughs> Alright, and this one's gonna be... Alright, so here... We're doing drillers. We're doing constructors. And we're doing carriers. Oh, yeah, look at that. It was, it was wrong. Alright, down to only one spare again. Oh, no. <laughs> Someone's over there building? What are we doing? Oh, Randall. Good old Randall. He's our OG. And Gaston Bobach. I love that guy. Love that guy's name. That's really what I like about him. No one fabricates like Gaston. <laughs> Look at his guns. Because <laughs> he's at the arms workshop. Gaston in the movie Strong. Look at that. That's great. That's great. That's, that's quality entertainment right there. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh gosh, this is not quality entertainment at all. Why am I here? Why am I here? Oh, oh, oh. What's that? Right on the rocks. I love how none of the rocks are destroyed. You get direct impact on the rocks, and there's no rocks destroyed. No. No, just your buildings. All right. <laughs> Looks like they're getting some stuff done. I really would like them to make this metal faster. We're up to 13 ore. Is it time? It might be time for us. We've run out of spares. Maybe it's not time for us to do that yet. We need more ore. Like bad. Like bad. Oh, don't go to bed. <laughs> You're only halfway done. We need those spares now. Oh, man. Because they're, they're bringing them over here. As fast as we're making them, they're bringing them over here to the bot workshop. And they're trying to make all the semiconductors that we need and all that jazz. These guns. What do we got here? Another one, 65%. Muhammad Ayers, freelance general trader. Sayonara. I know we're out of spares. I'm aware that we're out of spares. Oh, wait, 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 Riddle? No, Gaston. Gaston is burning the midnight oil over here. I'm liking him more and more, not just for his name. Oh, did you leave before? No, look at that. We have two spares. Oh, look at that. Our biologists, we do have enough biologists over here that are maintaining all this, and we actually have such a surplus of food and medicinals that that's pretty sweet. I dig it. Okay, what do we have here? Wheat, wheat, maize, maize, wheat. Oh, we got one of each here. Okay, and then rice, peas, potatoes, potatoes. Twice the potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them on a planet, and make them the food that you grow because they're really hard to, to kill. It took a long time to, to grow, though. It took like, like, three, like, like probably four or five months to grow. At least... The potatoes I've grown, I grow them in a storage container, actually. This is kind of interesting. So I get one of the big tubs, you know, like the big ones that are, you know, that that big. And I drill holes in the bottom. Not many, because you don't want to drain it too much. The soil to drain too fast. Uh, and then I fill it about a foot of, no, uh, probably about four inches of soil. And then I just take the potato that's been in the bag too long in the pantry, you know how it is, and slice that up so that there's a root in each section. And, and then I... Boop, 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 throw them all right in there, and they grow. But the thing is, as they grow, as the plant itself is actually like six inches tall, you actually have to like put more soil in. That's why you start with very little amount of soil and the tall storage containers. And I'll tell you something, I grow them over the winter too. I just leave them near the sliding glass door, and they get morning sun, and that is a sufficient amount for them. And we get potatoes, man, I tell you. Oh, and they, say, they taste so good. Now, granted, all that time is basically just, oh, oh, oh. Was it? Oh, wow. Wow, that could have been ugly. We almost just could have had death. We're going to have to work on getting that space laser. So we need to. We need to get more of this. Okay, so first things first, though. Let's build. First thing we got to do. Seriously, we have to build this. Is another processing plant. I'm going to build a large one, though. And I want to dog leg it over like this so that I can build this, expand this direction. How far over does that go? Can I go? Oh, wow. Wow, that's that's a really, that's a really long way. Oh, I just had a trader land. He's going to leave before I make it back. I'm over here trucking. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that beautiful. Oh, coming over the mountain just like that. All right, where's our trade ship here? We got 60% commission again. Darn it. It's too bad because they had a few coins and they had four, space for 40. 40 things. Get out of here. Sandstorm. Yellow alert. Everybody inside. Ah, that's too bad because I wanted to 
build this too. Oh, he wanted to build it too, too. He was all bringing the, bringing the metal right over there. Who was that, Philippe? Philippe Bergman, one of our engineers. Oh, what are you doing? Randall, get out of there, Randall. Go, get back inside quick. Now, how many... Oops. How many uh, medicinal supplies? We're supposed to have 15 medicinal supplies. I can never get them to build more than nine. I have two medics now, and neither of them are doing it. Neither of them. <sighs> so we even have everything that we need here, and... Our medics are literally just not doing it. Nope, not going to do it. That'd be too much work. I literally have you here for that one purpose. That's all I want you to do. Make medicine. Because I can sell medicine for like butt tons. Oh, finally. Who are you? I can't even see who you are. Darn it. Oh, wait. Wait, get up. Uh, MS Hassan, the medic. Okay, fine. Get your drink. Go back to work, bitch. Go back to work! Wow, that's a long ways, I guess, just to get your drink. Here is... Well, it's, I guess it's not too far. It's only two nodes away. But... Okay, so now we're going to have this built here pretty soon. And we can start making more processing plants. Now, this also is going to be the, the top of our hexagon, I think. I know. I know. This is really bad. <laughs> we only need one more. Come on. Come on, work it, work it. Work it like you do. 55%, 58, 50, 60. Come on, we need that metal. We need that metal. I have eight that are spoken for here. Eight. <laughs> There's three, four, only four of them are over here. That's weird. Okay, come on, are we almost done? One of them, I want one of them to go over to the processing plant so I can start to build the more metal processors. But I guess we're going to have bedtime first, because that's what we do. <laughs> and... Oh, that's all we have left to build for that, too. Oh! Oh, yes! We gotta love bots! You gotta love bots! That constructor bot is doing the right thing right there. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Okay, so... If that's going to be the top of our hexagon, I just want to map out where everything is going to go. But I wish I could, like, forbid it from being made. I just want to have it planned. I just want to have it planned and not have to drop resources into it. But I don't think I can do that. All right, fine. So I'm going to edit this and make... Oh, I can only do two, huh? Oh, look at that. Only two. And they, they, of course, naturally, they also take... And why don't we kick that up to 100? They also only take uh, take metal to build. All right, we had a lander. What do we got? Freelance electronics trader, 40%. Okay, okay. Why don't we go ahead and get some of our starch going? Oh, they have a lot of space. They just don't have a lot of coins. Let's go ahead and do these. Driller bot. Constructor bot, semiconductors. Uh, we don't have any semiconductors. Why don't we go ahead and just take a semiconductor? Yeah, buddy. Nope, nope. We'll do one less, and then we will take back that. Ha ha! It worked out. So we're going to get another 180. No, we're not. We're going to get 89 credits. That's not great. It's what it is. It's what it is. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Who are you? You're tired. Who are you, tired? Hello, tired. I'm Gamerpile. It's nice to meet you. Oh, look. We got another one. We got another one. Is this an engineer? Is this a worker? That's the medic. Medic. That's another thing I need to do is I need to build another uh, medical station over here with my habitat area. I probably should have put the medical station there. And then built the hexagon over here. I'm actually a little bit concerned about this causing issues. So I'm actually going to have to put... So whatever I put in here first is going to have to be... Is gonna, I'm, whatever I put, I'm going to have to put here first. So that I know that it will go into both of those places. Okay. 
That's a long ways to walk. That's the only downside of having this over here. And that's actually one of the reasons why I want to have another storage area over here. So that I can keep some other things over here also. <laughs> all I have is starch and medicinal plants. That's all I own. <laughs> Silver and gold. Okay, what do we got over here? Two more of them. And then we're good ski. Well, we, we've met capacity at guns, so for our guns, so that's good. Semiconductors. We've only got the one semiconductor. No spares. But we're not, we don't have anything else to build either, though. So now we can just... Oh, our biologists need to catch up. But hopefully it means we'll have our workers do all of our working. We have nine workers now. We probably could even stand to have a couple more. I'm not going to lie. I wonder if we could do that before. Oh, yeah, look at it. There it is. Could probably stand to have a couple more. Let's see if we can get a, uh, a couple of workers to land. And you know what? Maybe we'll try for. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe we'll try for. No, I guess that's it. I just want workers right now. All I want is workers. All I want is a large ship and a star to steer her by. And a couple of workers. I still have a, a semiconductor out here. And a trader. Another trader. Why? Why? 60%. Ah. Oh, look, but that's what I really want. It would take it would take 640. Ah, oh, could I do that? Okay, I might actually just buy this. Since I'm about to build a storage area, I might as well go for broke. Ah, oh, I hate that I have to do this with 60. I don't know that I'm even gonna have enough. I don't Oh, gosh. Oh, the guns. <gasps> oh, looky, looky. Huh. No, we'll do. We'll keep the credits. Okay. Ah, oh, this is... What a waste. 60%, but I, I really want that for my... Because I'm about to build a, a storage, I might as well just build a massive one. Ah, ah that might have been a terrible decision. It was, a, was not a very efficient decision. I am taking instant gratification over intelligence is what I'm doing. Like so many of us do, let's be honest. All right, where's my mountain? I want to look upon my... I want to look upon my fort from the peak. Oh, that looks so cool like that. It really does. Can I look at it from this peak? Ooh, that's even better. Ooh, that's so nice looking. Look at that. I kind of want to screenshot that. Screenshot taken. Sweet. It's a nice looking little complex. It's it's completely inefficient. It's really awful, in fact. But I like it. It's mine. I've made it. It's <laughs> I built it. I like it. <laughs> oh, boy. It might be a good place for us to stop, too. We are making some spares, so we'll get those pretty quickly. And everybody's being a busy bee over here, and we're going to... Oh, we're so close to having it. We've almost got it. We've almost got our massive storage area. I know. I know. We've run out of spares. We're like 68... We're two-thirds of the way. Three-quarters of the way now. Look at that. See how fast that went? That's crazy. All right, what do we got left? There it is. There it is. Nice. Massive storage patent acquired. Let's just see how big this thing is. And then we're going to call it a day. Storage area. That's large, I guess. That's extra large. That's... Ma oh, ooh, look at that. Takes 10. 10 metal and 10 bioplastics to build that. Wow. That is gargantuan. Well, that'll take a long time to fill up. That's for sure. Oh, no. Oh, no. We can I didn't even see this. We did get one worker. Yay! Welcome to Need More Pylons. He's going straight into the straight into the mine. Get to work, you lousy animal. All right, good. Sweet. Now we're up to 25. We're at a quarter century colonists, and we have a whole plateau ahead of us. And we're going to start being able. We're going to start being able to develop our colony into a massive multi hundreds of people co uh, um, complex with lots and lots to do and lots and lots to see and whoa we are 
running out of we run out of energy very fast it might be time to build a few more batteries right over here <laughs> so we'll do that next time thank you so much for joining me today if you haven't yet go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below that would mean a lot to me also ding that bell you don't miss anything in the future and of course if you check out the videos on your screen you might find something else you enjoy because we have a couple of different series we do all of them are kind of similar um well no i guess that's not always true a lot of them are sim based or strategy based like this one survival that kind of thing is my shtick that's what i like the best yeah we're low on power so that's gonna be priority priority numero uno well as always my pylons stay safe and be well